My name is Jonathan Kramer and I run Capital Markets at Zopa. Access and Classic are now officially retired, which means that all new lending will be without safeguard coverage. We've talked a lot about what investing without safeguard means, but I wanted to talk to you about a group of investors who have always invested without safeguard coverage, our institutional lenders. Our institutional investors are investing in loans that are underwritten and go through the same credit process as all loans at Zopa. But there is one crucial difference. Our institutional investors have never lent using the safeguard coverage. Before lending through Zopa, our institutional investors do extensive due diligence on the platform. They lift the lid, they kick the tires, and they look at every nook and cranny of our platform. And we think that's a great validation of our platform and a real benefit for our retail investors. Some of our institutional lenders use capital markets to fund their lending through Zopa and use a tool called securitization. And we've written a blog post on securitization in the past. But why I'm talking to you about this today is it means that we're not only scrutinized by those institutional investors, but also the rating agencies which rate those securitizations. There have been two securitizations of Zopa assets done so far. The first was in October 2016 and was at the time the highest rated securitization of any P2P securitization done globally. Second securitization closed in November this year and what was remarkable about that was the change in pricing between the first and the second securitization. Pricing is a reflection of the riskiness or volatility that investors associate with the Zopa assets. In the second securitization, the price was roughly half of what it was in the first securitization, reflecting a greater acceptance and confidence from the market. So what does all this mean and why is it important to our retail investors? Well, our institutions, who have crawled through every inch of our platform, have been lending without safeguard coverage for years. We've written lots about what lending without safeguard means, both on our blog and on our website. And if you have any questions, our customer services team are here to help.